Yo, what up guys, Old School Daniel, and in this video I want to talk about why I started training traps. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe for more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. With that being said, let's move on with the video. So, I have multiple reasons why I started training traps, but let's take it from the top. So, Iron Guru, the famous Iron Guru, Ben Serrano, once said, if you begin to train your traps and you get overdeveloped traps, then it takes away from the width of deltoids. You know, this guy was a master at cosmetic bodybuilding. So, you know, that while that is true, I started to think about the probability of me actually obtaining big traps. And I sort of look, started looking at natural bodybuilders like, you know, Team 3D MJ, and I looked at their traps. And then I looked at, of course, you know, bodybuilders who are on steroids, you know, of course, we all know the androgen receptors in the traps and the shoulder and all responds very well to that. And that's why they come over developed. But then I was like, well, first off, I'll never take steroids. And what is the probability, I thought about it, of me obtaining big traps as a natural? And, you know, given my genetics and the motivation and drive to actually want to get big traps. And I was like, well, it, it's very low. And I thought, you know, all of it was very low. And I was like, hmm. And also, that was one reason. That's sort of why I started to train traps. But the other one is that I started to receive some, I started getting some type of pain or impingement in my shoulders and neck, or I'm sorry, the traps. And it felt weird, like it, it started hurting. And I read about these type of things where it's like, if you don't work a specific muscle group at all, you're gonna have some type of complications like that. I've had clients who've come to me who say, you know, they have a lower back pain or they got this and that. And, and it's like, well, do you train this muscle group? And like I've had clients who maybe had some type of lower back pain or some type of a um, pelvis tilt tilt or whatever you want to call it. And anyways, some type of problems like that. And I'm like, well, you know, do you work your glutes at all? Or do you work your hamstrings? Because I went, to, you know, I had issues with my with my lower back. You know, little did you know, I probably didn't tell you guys a while back, but I had, you know, it was like a pinch in my lower back and it stung like crazy. It was like, a, I would get spasms. So it got so bad and I went to the physical therapist and I was like, what's wrong? And she's like, you got weak hamstrings. And I was like, huh? And I was like, that makes sense because I never trained hamstrings. Like back then I never trained hamstrings, maybe like three sets, maybe like per week. And this was like, when I was doing full body and I never really even trained the hamstrings at all. And I was like, wow, this makes so much sense. So I started to train them and then the pain subsidized. So as you know, as I began to start training traps, you know, the pains that I had, they subsidized. So that those are some of the reasons. Now let's talk about some of the more aesthetic reasons. So some of the aesthetic reasons was I started to look at body goes like, you know, Samir Banu, you know, it's not ideal for me to compare myself as a natural to you know someone who used gear with all due respect and i looked at that complete back development that he had he had the up you know the traps the you know the lower lats the erectors he had that complete christmas tree it was incredible an incredible back you know the lion of lebanon and i was like wow and i compared it to my back and i was like hey my back pops but the only thing that's missing that's not 3d is the traps and, you know, I made sort of more of a, you know, realistic comparison. I was like, okay, let me look at my back. So then I looked at my back and here's a picture of my back. And, you know, it looks like, you know, like a built back, but look at the shoulders. Look how they look sort of older developed and like very capped out. And I was like, wow, you know, that's due to me doing men's physique posing and, and, and whatnot. And, and I have those, I had those wide, you know, round deltoids just because the men's physique pose, posing because my coach told me, Hey, you know, what they want to see is 3D delts. So I worked on my delts and I did and they became overdeveloped and I, so it's sort of hard to recover from that. A lot of people may be like jealous, like, wow, it's incredible. You have, you know, capped out delts, deltoids, they're 3D. I'm like, yeah, they're great. And you know, women think they're attractive so you got broad shoulders, but it's tough because they tend to dominate a lot of movements like bend or a row, you know, incline press, curls and stuff like that. So, and when I do a front lat spread like this, like in this picture, Look how the shoulders just pop out so much. And look at the traps, how they look so flat. And, you know, as a bodybuilder, you know, like I think it was as Vince Gerano said, your job is to, you know, develop the muscles as much as you can. I think he said that, I can't remember. But uh, then I looked at a back like Reg Park and look at this back double bicep. I'm like, wow, look at those traps. Look how, you know, developed they are. Such, 
incredible development and they tie into the deltoids and they tie into the back they tie into the, even his neck and i was like that's insane and then i did my own version of a back double bison and i looked at it and again flat traps and i'm like wow look at that neck and it's funny because pencil neck and i started to, and i recently started to train um, neck as well but i want to make a separate video on that on why i started training that very similar to the reasons on this video but anyways save that for another video but i looked at my back and i was like wow you know that's you know got my, my maybe my lower back can use some work as well but then i was like look at my f traps they're so flat you know the deltoids the, the biceps and triceps the back mid back lower back it's all there but look at the traps it's just so flat and the neck is flat too and then i looked at red's park i was like dude look at this guy his neck is freaking thick as heck and those traps those traps literally tie into his neck and everything else i was like that that is he, I was like, he looks so much more powerful because he has those traps. And you know, we've seen you know movies like The Dark Knight Rises, and you look at Tom Hardy and look at those traps, and they make him look so masculine. And that's not one of the reasons why I started training traps. Like you know, I trained them for, of course, cosmetic reasons for like bodybuilding, but not for. Anyways, guy, yeah, that's, that's the wrong reason. But anyways, that's a good comparison where it's like you look at body, like you know him. And look at those traps and look how incredible that looks. That's sort of older Javel, that's just sort of for the role of the movie. But in this case, maybe to a nice point where they look nice and developed, where they look, they're not overdeveloped or anything like that. And I think that creates that sort of overall back look that you need to have, you know, if you want a complete classic physique. So guys, those were my reasons why I started to train traps. Hope you enjoyed this video. My new ebook, Silver Art Secrets, is on sale. Link is in the description. Check that out. With that being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Old School Dan. I'm gone. Peace.